Hey, it's Erin. Are you in a time crunch, but you're still really interested in making gains? If so, today's workout is for you. We've got a super set upper body workout using only dumbbells and an adjustable bench. So if you have limited equipment or perhaps you're traveling, this is another great option. I love a superset so much because you can double the amount of work that you do in about the same time. So for example, if we're doing chest and back superset, while you're training chest, back is recovering and vice versa. But do you know what's still going? The old ticker. So you're still getting some cardio benefits with supersets. Now just because the workout is faster paced doesn't mean that you can't make great gains with it. I would recommend going nice and slow with each rep feeling every single contraction. Now, another thing to think about is exercise selection. These exercises are going to focus a lot on hitting those side delts, upper chest, upper back, and this is working on that X frame. So if you're interested in creating that V taper, the appearance of a smaller waist, you're gonna love this one. Okay, <laughs> without further ado, let's get in there and train. Let's get into this workout. Our first superset is a neutral grip shoulder press followed by a neutral grip upright row. Now for the superset, I would recommend using dumbbells that are a little bit lighter on the upright row. For the setup, I've got the bench, the back set to a 90 degree angle. And as I set up for the shoulder press, making sure that my feet are flat on the floor. And with a neutral grip shoulder press, you do wanna have the dumbbells in front of you slightly. You wanna always make sure that your forearm to your elbow is underneath the weight and that your wrists are nice and straight and you have your hand properly wrapped around that dumbbell. So you wanna make sure that you wrap your thumb around that dumbbell as well. Core is nice and tight, and you're gonna go ahead and keep your spine in a neutral position. Palms should be facing each other, and as you press up, go ahead and exhale. Think about, again, keeping those dumbbells in front of you just slightly. As you lower the dumbbells, keep your elbows in and control the weight on that negative. Now you can go to about parallel to the ground, with your upper arm, or you can go lower if it feels good. So I always like to get the biggest range of motion that I possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the dumbbells a little bit lower. We're gonna go right into that neutral grip upright row. So same setup as the shoulder press and that you want everything nice and solid, solid foundation. You're gonna keep your upper body in that same position and kind of wanna think about dragging the dumbbells alongside you your range of motion is not going to be as much as it would as if you were standing, but you will really feel this because it's such a unique grip. Your palms are going to be facing each other and you're really gonna think about dragging those dumbbells upwards and keeping them in front of you just slightly and really think about just using the shoulder to pull those dumbbells upward. And of course, as you lower them down, make sure you take your time on that negative and don't spend too much time at the bottom. When we're working with dumbbells, we always have to be aware of where gravity is. So we don't wanna to spend too much time where the muscles are not under tension. And our next superset is a low incline row followed by a low incline pullover. Now we've got this slight angle, which is going to help us pull a bit higher, which is gonna focus on hitting the back a bit higher, working on that X frame. Now with the low incline row, I recommend starting with your weaker or non-dominant side, doing the same number of reps on that dominant side. Single arm or unilateral exercises are excellent for improving symmetry or evenness from left to right. Make sure that you have one knee on the bench, typically the opposite knee from the working arm, and that your leg on the working arm side is flat, your foot is flat on the ground, and you've got a solid foundation here. Hips should be square to the ground, and you want your upper body also to be square. So we're looking at performing this exercise evenly from left side to right side. Now, as you pull up on this dumbbell, you wanna make sure that you've got the dumbbell close to your body and that you're pulling through the elbow. So you really wanna think about from your hand to your elbow. I know I always say it, but imagine that this is part of the weight and that you're simply using your back 
to pull your upper arm up and get to that mid rep point. You can pause for just a second if you would like, and you're just gonna slowly lower that dumbbell, spending as little time as possible with your arm fully extended. Now, as you switch sides, make sure that both sides are a mirror image of each other. So you've got a good solid base, you've got your hips and your upper body square to the floor, and you're pulling evenly. So if you're pulling a little bit further back with one side, make sure that you're matching it from side to side. Now we're gonna go right into this low incline pullover. And this exercise variation is excellent for hitting the lats and teres in just a little bit different area than you would with the flat bench pullover. So as you get set up for this exercise, you wanna make sure that your hands are interlocked on the top part of the dumbbell and that your back is flat on the bench, that your feet are flat on the floor, and you're going to extend the dumbbell overhead. And this is really the only time, the beginning and at the end, that you want this dumbbell directly overhead. We have actually no tension on the muscle at this point. So as you lower the dumbbell behind you, really think about getting that good stretch keeping a slight soft bend in the elbow, but keeping that same bend throughout. As soon as you allow some flexion in the elbow, you're gonna feel a lot more triceps kick in. It's not what we want. Of course, the triceps are gonna help with stabilization, but we're really focused on this being a back exercise. So, um, and you're gonna feel it in your chest as well. But think about keeping that same bend throughout and lower that weight to the point where you get a nice stretch, actively thinking about each rep, trying to get a little bit more of a stretch each time. It's a great way to stretch your muscles under that uh, load. And as you come back up with the dumbbell, you're going to stop before you reach perpendicular to the floor, keeping constant tension on the muscle. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next superset. We've got an alternating arm bench press followed by spider curls. So we're gonna go ahead and hit chest and biceps here. And the alternating arm bench press is excellent for really working on core, core stability as well. And you don't have to go as heavy on this exercise because you're gonna do a lot of stabilizing. But of course, you're still gonna feel it in your chest. I would suggest start with the non-dominant side and we're doing an isometric hold on the non-working side. So while you're pressing up and as you press up, you're gonna kind of press in just a little bit with the dumbbell and you're holding on the other side. So come back to the starting position, repeat on the other side, making sure to keep your body as still as possible. This is going to require going slow and of course, stabilizing. We're gonna go right into spider curls. So I grabbed a lighter pair of dumbbells for this exercise. And one thing you wanna make sure of is that your bench is secure. So you may wanna put a nice 25 pound plate or 45 pound plate at the base of it to keep it from sliding, or you can just be careful. <laughs> um, otherwise you're gonna be sliding across the gym with this one. So you want your chest and your stomach to be against the upper pad of the bench, and you're going to extend your arms downward with palms facing up, and really think about keeping your upper arm perpendicular to the floor and fixed. So keep that upper arm as still as possible, and we're just flexing, we're just hinging at the elbow. So really simple isolation movement. And as you come up with the dumbbells, you can think about kind of turning your hands towards your wrists. So you can kind of curl your hands in just a little bit if you want. It's gonna give you a little bit of a different feel. And you're gonna go nice and slow on that negative. And as you get to the bottom, go right back up again. So don't spend too much time at the bottom. Our last superset is an alternating arm lateral raise followed by an overhead triceps extension. So we're gonna be hitting those medial or the side delts with this one and of course, triceps. 
So you're gonna set up with your feet flat on the floor, upper body nice and tall. You're going to extend the dumbbells outward. And this is another great isometric exercise. So as one arm is working, the other one is staying put and holding. So we've got a lot of time under tension here. For the lateral raise, as you lower one arm, you wanna think about pushing the dumbbell away from you, not lifting up your dumbbell. So always think about pushing it away here and holding steady with the other side. When you switch to the other side, go nice and slow on that negative and then push that dumbbell away. Slight bend in the elbow. You can think about having your palms facing down as you get to that mid rep point. Next, we're gonna go ahead and drop a dumbbell. We're gonna to move to the overhead triceps extension. Now, for this exercise, you're gonna think about kicking that dumbbell up to your shoulder and then interlocking your hands under the top part of that dumbbell. So it is the same grip that you would use for the low incline pullover is what we're using on that overhead triceps extension. So you wanna wrap your thumbs around that, the handle of that dumbbell for security. And you're gonna go ahead and extend that dumbbell right overhead and similar to the pullover in that you wanna make sure you're not spending too much time in this starting position. As you lower that dumbbell back, and down, think about keeping your elbows in and think about keeping your upper arm as still as possible. So the hinge point here is going to be at the elbow. Keeping those elbows in is gonna really help to target those triceps. So once you get good stretch and then you're going to extend that dumbbell back up almost to the starting position, not quite, because we're looking at that time under tension. So you're gonna go right back into lowering that dumbbell and bringing it back up again. As far as recovery goes in between supersets, you're looking at between 30 seconds all the way up to three minutes. And the reason for this range is because on your bigger compound lifts, you do want to take a bit more time, especially if you're looking to make gains. So upwards of three minutes is totally fine because remember, we're getting the cardio benefits as we're doing the superset but we don't want cardio to be the limiting factor in our workouts. So for example, if you're going into the second exercise on a superset, you haven't given yourself enough time, you're out of breath, your cardio is going to limit the amount of quality reps you're gonna get out of it. So first and second superset, really try to take up to three minutes in between those supersets. As you get to the smaller exercises, your isolation exercises, feel free to take around 45 seconds. This is gonna help a lot with time saving because typically your isolation movements are not going to get your heart rate up as much as those big compound movements will. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all.